Hello everybody, Owen Ryan here, life coach and sports coach. Today I want to talk to you about motivation. Now motivation is a vast subject, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to keep it as top line as possible and just go through a few different things about it. First of all, what is motivation? Well motivation is the energy that you get towards achieving a goal or an outcome. So it's that bit of fizz at the start, that bit of enthusiasm, that bit of you know, I'm going to get this no matter what energy that you feel at the beginning. And many of us have experienced that. Then when we get to the action stage, things tend to just fizzle out a little bit and we don't seem to really get where we want to be. We don't get to the end goal. So considering that motivation is like an energy, I like to use this example of an airplane. So here's an airplane on a runway. By the way, drawing is not my strong point. If you ever see an airplane like that in Dublin Airport, don't get on it. Anyway, that's our so-called airplane. So the airplane's on the runway and it needs all this energy, motivation to get to the point that it wants to get to. So it's motivated, 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 and the goal is way up here. Well, to sustain that, unfortunately, our motivation won't be an endless resource. And like any airplane, it can go so far, all the way up, but it doesn't have the energy or the fuel to go all the way, so it's just going to go uh, down. So that can be what's happening with your goals as well. It could be that you know, you're just relying on motivation solely and it just doesn't have enough to carry it through. So there's two things that come into play once, once our motivation kicks in. Motivation comes first, but the next thing then comes willpower. And willpower, like motivation, is also an energy and like any energy, it ain't an endless resource. So it's very important to keep your willpower tanks up as well in terms of you know, having enough fuel to get there to this end point. So, one thing about willpower, if I may, just skip them forward a little bit, is that willpower also is a very important thing. And if your temptations to what, that are pulling you back from achieving your goal, if they're there available to you day in, day out, and you're in a position where you have to say no to everything, so it's like, no, I don't want to eat this, no, I don't want to be there, no, I don't want to um, you know, experience that. If it's all no, 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 all day long, you're gonna reduce your um, willpower energy because one feeds into the other. You have to be motivated at the start, but the willpower continues with you along the way. Now, how are we gonna address this, I guess, is the question, and um, then we've pointed it out. Well, there's a way to do this. So along this path towards getting to your main goal up here, it's important to break it down, chunk it down into smaller pieces. Okay, so these are mini targets. So instead of trying to get from A to B or A to Z up here, let's have a few um, drop-off points along the way. So that could be your, your goal here. This could be a mini target and another mini target here and another mini target here. So instead of having to go all the way from say the runway up to the goal, what we do is we have short stop-offs. And within them, this is your opportunity to replenish your motivation and your willpower. So when you achieve these mini targets, which are very important along the way, celebrate it. Celebrate, acknowledge that you've actually done something. You've done something that's for momentum towards your main goal. And like acknowledge it. And therefore, like I mean, what that does then, it feeds back into your motivation. So you're motivated to move on to the next level and motivated to move on to the next level. And as I said with willpower, make sure the temptation is not there in front of you. You know, again, be smart about it, you know. You have to be tactful to try and get up to this end goal position. So what I do is when I do my goal setting with clients is I kind of wonder what mindset do they have. So some people are positively orientated. In other words, in a running example, what they want to do is they want to achieve a PB. They want to you know, get better at what they're doing, increase their times or whatever the case might be. But some people are motivated by avoiding a negative outcome. So what they want to do is say, for example, in terms of running, they are be told perhaps by their doctors or something like that, that, hey, you got to get yourself out there and do a bit of exercise, otherwise X, Y, and Z might happen to your heart, to your body, or whatever the case might be. So they're motivated by a negative outcome. Now, neither of these people can be judged as being positive or negative. It's just the mindset motivation that they have for achieving their goal. And knowing that's going to be key as well towards achieving your goal. Other people as well, this is going into a little bit of detail, are intrinsically motivated. So they're motivated, you know, for their own um, achievements, their own self-satisfaction, things like that. And some people are extrinsically motivated. So they, they're motivated because they love, they love people coming up and saying, hey man, you did really well in that race. 
you know, congratulations, you came third, you came second, whatever. Doesn't matter, you got your PB. So there's many ways to mo motivate ourselves, but motivation is energy, just like willpower is energy, and we do not have endless resources of it. Now the one final thing in terms of motivation, okay, we, we probably agree on that, but one thing before, the step before motivation is, is, is your goal actually in tune with your values? Is it? Because if it isn't, if your goal is not in tune with your values, that means it doesn't matter how much motivation you throw at it, it probably isn't going to happen for you. Because somewhere subconsciously in your mind, you know that this is not really exactly what you want to do. Maybe you're doing it because other people are doing it or whatever the case might be. So knowing first of all or checking in with your values is the most important thing because then once they're congruent with your motivation and you're working this system of keeping the motivation and willpower uh, tanks um, full by taking these steps along the way, that's certainly going to help you a lot more towards achieving your goal. And that's what I do when it comes to my goal setting. First thing I'll get people to do is check in with their values. What is it that you really value at this moment in time? <clears throat> because our values do change. So it's important to capture it at that particular moment. So to recap, if we wanna get this crockety looking airplane off the runway to get it to where we actually want to achieve our goal, it's very important that we break it down into different areas, just to keep that motivation and willpower going. So you reinforce it. I'll put up a chart at the very end of this video, which explains it a lot better than my scribbly writing. So with that, I'd like to say thanks very much for listening to this video and hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.